thanks everybody for joining us tonight uh, for the launch of Komatsu Transform Mining. What's really important to us and to our community is to present these verified challenges. And what we mean by that is a real opportunity. Komatsu's got 47,000 employees all around the world. And these guys, well, if you solve for them, they solve for Rio Tinto, they solve for BHP. This is the moment to start the successful collaboration. I received an email from one of my Baric friends uh, who actually introduced me unearthed. And then he actually gave me a quite a good you know, explanation why we think we should do something along with unearthed. So after one year later, uh, I'm really glad to have such an event here in Brisbane. One of the things about being a, a large company is that perhaps we can't move as quickly as some startups. So one of our challenges is sometimes we're hard to engage with because we're a really big outfit. So I think this type of forum is very, very important so that you can get to know us and from us getting to know you, opportunities could come out. Uh, we manufacture our, our own uh, our own tracker. So what that means is that you can customize um, uh, customize it to pick up the statistics, uh, come up, to pick up machine sensors and information that you want to track, as well as the location information. So that's quite unique to to our solution. About two years ago, we set off on a journey to develop a, a robotics company uh, to develop field robots. We saw that as a new emerging area, and we saw that that had a dual benefit. One. One to be someone developing a product in that space and, and probably a first mover. A second one is to uh, develop some skills and an opportunity for younger people that we could then take back into our engineering business. This solution should be integrable in any mine site that uses excavators, um, should be shelf stable, should be eco-friendly, should be cost effective and finally should be sufficiently distinct from anything else on the market to uh, be considered as proprietary technology for Hensley. With a drone, you can capture a comprehensive map of a site. You get incredible detail, you're able to navigate around it in 3D, you're able to see changes over time. This is all happening without any desktop software, it's happening on your iPad or on the desktop that you've already got. So we would like to propose the idea of Get as a Service. In that world, we see an opportunity for Komatsu to share in the savings that they create for their customers to be able to get a greater margin for their products that they sell and to be able to raise barriers to entry from their competitors. Most of the efficiency solutions and thinking are driven by technology or by this equipment. Our approach is to think about this guy, the operator behind the equipment. Because of the low power requirement, this solution can be deployed not just on machines that are powered, such as a, an electric vehicle, but it can be deployed on other assets. It's low power, therefore these devices can be tagged and those tags can run for many, many years, five to ten years, depending on, on the sort of information that's being put out. The technology that we have right now actually comes from our previous uh, projects with Origin and Peabody. So in the project with Peabody Energy, we analyzed geophysical data and drilling data to um, using machine learning models to provide the rock formations information to the uh, blast engineers to help them improve blast designs. But the AI sees the patterns behind the image. It sees the trends that are coming. It's not just machine learning, which is just trying to look ahead. It's building all these patterns up. It's learning where it's going. You combine the hyperspectral image with your LiDAR, which you already have, and you're starting to get very precise, geolocated information on the fly. But they can be uh, connected in direct line of sight, um, up to 10 kilometers to each other, and uh, carry the link up to 1.3 terabits per second. All of these challenges have something in common, and that is time. So the time between getting the samples at the face and updating the dig plan can take up from between 12 hours to three days. And in that time, all can go to the waste dump and waste can go to the processing plant. So this can result in tens to hundreds of millions of dollars in lost value per year. 
there are so many great kings and they, they know very well about the mining industries. And so uh, together with them, I believe and I guarantee how uh, we can create a new small success in a very short period of time. We'd like to sh uh, show the, the mining industry. This is a nearly, really new innovation uh, coming from Komatsu.